cities, like people, have their own personalities, shaped by the communities who live there, their culture, attitudes and tastes, as well as factors like the geography and climate of the area. And those personalities can be clearly seen in the produce of the region. In Kataya's case, it's famous tiles and ceramics, a large assortment of which are currently on display in Istanbul. The collection showcases nearly 300 unique pieces, a mixture of Ottoman period tiles and ceramics, produced in the famous Iznik, Kataya and Chanukale workshops, the three main centres of Ottoman tile and ceramic art. Artifacts from the 15th to early 20th century that offer us a chance to examine and understand the developments of this remarkable dynasty. These pieces provide a fascinating insight into the production and evolution of Ottoman ceramics. The growing variety of designs on the tiles and ceramics of the period, as well as the change in the quality of the clay, can be clearly seen as you look at the pieces, all displayed helpfully in chronological order. The collection is a treasure trove of unique pieces, each with its own story, and each telling us something about the lives of the people of Kataya. Among the artifacts manufactured in the 18th century, we can see pieces that show us the customs of coffee drinking, coffee cups, cup holders, coffee pots and rose water bottles. Apart from these, we see dishes used in daily life, mugs, tankards, as well as larger artifacts, like coffee tables. They are important because they reflect the style of the period. And also, as we know, when the production in Iznik was halted by the end of the 17th century, Kütahya produced more. Iznik was producing items based on demand from the palace. And when the orders from the Sultan stopped coming, the production in Iznik stopped too. But Kütahya started to make products for public use, and this manufacturing has continued uninterrupted until today. In the Kütahya collection, we see lots of items that were used in everyday life. We also see the tiles that were used to adorn mosques, churches and synagogues according to the needs of Jewish, Christian and Muslim congregations that lived under Ottoman rule. Sometimes the same tiles were used in both churches and mosques. It's quite impressive to see the range of different products in one exhibition. It's not just the variety of Kataya's produce but its ability to adapt to changing demands that has made it an enduringly popular brand for so many years. Kerry Alexandra, TRT World, Istanbul.